It's a gift from God that we are living here. My house is uh, five minutes away from the shepherd's field. Uh, and also, it's also the same. Uh, we are very close to the Nativity Church. Elias lives in the Christian majority town of Beit Sahor, close to Bethlehem. But in the Palestinian territories as a whole, the number of Christians is declining. Each year, many family, uh, they traveled uh, outside to America also. We are now in all, all Palestine, we are uh, one percent in all Palestine. Uh, and each year, I think we are getting <laughs> Uh, uh, less. Christian families, they live here in the country for many reasons. The most, I think, uh, reasons are uh, the future. They getting always afraid about how will be our future here. Because here the economic situation is very bad, really. And especially now also from Corona, the b political situation is really also is very difficult also here. It's also push very families. Uh, to leave the country and to go to the outside. But Elias has chosen to stay in Beit Sahor with his young family, despite his concerns. I am worried a lot about the future of my children. Many times I spoke uh, of my wa with my wife if, uh, if we still did the right decision to stay here or maybe uh, we have uh, to go outside only for my children, uh, but also my wife, she has the same uh, uh, thinking as I have that here is yani, our place, here we are as a Christian, uh, it's the best place for our children. I think if all the Christian families, they will leave the country here, who will stay? I know the situation is difficult and I can understand the families who leave the, uh, here, but if we are living here, I think only the stones will stay here. And I didn't believe that the church are only the stones. The church are uh, the people, the community. We are the church. So if we live here, there will be no more Christian church. Uh, how you uh, show your faith to others, this is the church. So Elias and his wife Dana are committed to being the living stones of the church and to bringing up their children to discover the Christian faith for themselves. To raise a child is not easy, <laughs> really. It's a big mission to raise a child, but it's also more challenging to raise him as a Christian. So we put them in uh, Sunday school. There they are uh, learning them uh, small issues about the uh, Christian faith. Also in our house we try them to show uh, what's the meaning of uh, to be christian yani, i will say not i am a hero also but we are trying to do what we can yani. <laughs> i wish that uh, that the christian life will be better here the, the situation will be better and uh, that my children can stay here and live here uh, as a christian Thank God for Elias, Dana and their three children, Shakib, Adam and Case. Praise God for their determination to stay and live out their faith as the living stones of the church. Pray for all Christians living in the Palestinian territories with its economic and political difficulties. Pray too for converts from Islam who face particular pressure from their families and society. Please pray that the work of Open Doors local partners will bear fruit as they support believers in the Palestinian territories through training, leadership development and Bible distribution. <laughs>